Welcome to another Reaper Block tutorial. In this video, I'll show you some things that I've added to the mixer menus that uh, speeds up my workflow and gives me easier access to some actions that are really helpful. Let's get right into it. In the first section I'm going to show you, it's this section right here, the effects extended mixer context. So when you right click, there's this menu here. You can look here at the default menu and see that I've added copy effects chain from selected tracks and paste effects chain to selected tracks. Just a reminder for you guys that uh, are new to customizing menus, let's go to the action list, menu editor, and it brings up this window here. From the drop down box here, we've got all the different menus that are available, menus and toolbars that are available. So effects extended mixer context is this section here. When you want to add an action, click add, Choose action, separator, label, submenu. Go to action. Type in the one you want. So copy effects. And was this one here? Select and close. And add it to the list. And you just drag it to where you want it to be in the list. So let me show you this copy effects chain from select a track and paste. And it's pretty self-explanatory. Select a track. Right click here. Copy effects chain. Grab another track right click and paste the effects chain. So it copied all four of those plugins with all of their settings, with their custom names and everything. I also have a button on my mixer toolbar that does the same thing. So copy, paste. Um, I found that sometimes rather than moving the mouse back and forth, just right clicking is a little easier. Let's look at the sends extended mixer context next. There's quite a few things that I've added to this one. So these are the defaults here. Show send parameters, mute send, remove send, show track routing window, go to send destination track. I've also added mute all sends from selected tracks and unmute all sends. So let's take this track here, a right click and unmute sends. That brings them all back online. Right click and mute. I can also copy the sends, paste the sends, copy the receives, and paste the receives, copy both the send and receive for this track. I can also copy the selected track grouping and paste it. So let's look at the sends. Once you have these actions in here, it's very simple. Copy them, go here, paste. And as I said, the routings action is both sends and receives for that track. Uh, let's look at the grouping matrix. Well, let's put the kick in the uh, group one. Grab kick here, right click, copy, select a track grouping, take kick trigger all the way. Let's go all the way to the end here except for this track here and right click in this section and paste. There you go. They're all assigned to that group. And that's it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and check out reaperblog.net for lots more.